Good day. I'm working with a um, upcoming startup uh, in Europe called Position Biome, and one of their requests was to produce a report such as what I have on screen. The report example is a mock-up using real data for um, people with with dramatic brain injury, which is very close to what autism is. So I wanted to show you what a potential new report could look like and then ask you for your assistance to make it reality. Okay, so the, the report gives a summary of what the conditions are. Then it goes through a microbiome, a specific microbiome, and says, okay, which ones matches the existing literature? So you have, in this case, you have six of them, and it indicates what it is, and this is what the literature actually states. Sometimes it states things at the family level, sometimes at the genus level, sometimes at the species level and then gives a footnote reference to exactly where the data comes from. And if you go to the bottom of the report, you see there all the numbers one by one, and each one is linked to the actual um, studies for people to cross check and verify. So what we first do is go through the literature and see exactly where you have agreement. The next thing we do, and this is where your future help comes in, is we do cross-validation. We calculate out on those bacteria what the person should be taking. Then we go and we find out if there's literature saying that the substance helps at least some, not all, some people with, in this case, brain injury. In your case, it would be autism. Because remember, there's a spectrum. There's a whole variety of different issues. Some have severe behavior, speech issues to ever have severe behavior issues. So it goes through and for each bacteria identify up above, it gives a list of things followed by key thing, footnotes showing exactly what. So the footnotes includes, for example, number eight here. We'll go and if you go down to number eight here, it is um, a study which tested it and found that um, this particular probiotic helps with uh, brain injuries. Or again, keyword is for some people. We know that the impact is going to vary from person to person because a lot of the impact of drugs and supplements depends on the person's microbiome before they start taking it. So we go through and we list everything. Everything is cross-referenced. So you see study uh, what it is, and then over C, the next one down, you see, I say so in the vitamin E alters this particular bacteria um, in a desired way. And in some cases, you see a whole stack of them, uh, also a very long stack in a few cases. Other cases, it's just one or two. And that depends on what's available for the literature. Okay, then we have additional suggestion, which is the same as with microbiome prescription. Um, just slightly tuned a bit. Okay, so we have everything there. Now, a couple of, of interesting notes. One thing up here is we also look at prescription drugs and only show validated prescription drugs. In other words, these are the drugs which has been done. In this case, you see we actually have two references uh, it being used with traumatic brain injury. In other words, it takes a lot of the mystery of it, and then we have a suggestion. Okay, so that's the basic. Now let's go over and see what is needed for your assistant. Okay, I have attached a spreadsheet to it, and basically it goes and says, okay, what you need to do, and I went and found a study, um, I'll show you in a moment, and it mentioned the following things are what is needed to be done. And let's see if I can make my screen friendlier. Um, blah, 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 uh, right there. And let's move me aside a little bit. Okay, so, um, blah, 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 blah. excuse the, jumping around and and over here we have a couple of things happening one is here is what i found and you will find a ton of them and 
up here at the top is the magic number. We want this PubMed number. Studies only from PubMed. You may find a study elsewhere. That's fine. Find a study on, on PubMed, which often have, can happen by just copying the title of the study and see if it's listed. And if it's listed, then you should be able to see the number up above. For example, if I go and instead of looking for autism and look for this particular one, it will actually come back actually in this case it comes back with several and if I click on this one I get back to the exact same study I was on so if you not working for PubMed but find elsewhere you still can make use of those studies just find the PubMed ID and now we have in this case I have four things listed and what all you need to do is go over here and go to the, the lookup page and you don't need to be a member of prescription or um, microbiome prescription to do it and just type in vitamin A. Search and then we have vitamin A and it's number 486. So I over here and just put it in number 486. Uh, vitamin C. Then we have one, number 1864. Okay. Put it there and vitamin B6. There we go. And vitamin B12. And there we go. Okay, so you are now busy filling up a sheet, very simple sheet to do. Basically just copying two numbers across. If you find a substance that's not listed in the lookup compound, just put the name here, leave just blank and put a reference here. Simple as that. I'll see if we can add those compounds in. Once you have all those items done, then all you need to do is email to me and then I will import the data and once we have enough information we will now have a sweet little additional report which looks like this it will be saying autism at the top here uh, persistent biome is not focused on autism at the moment. It may be with this data, which is going to be publicly available to everybody, it may want to add it to it. It will list which bacteria shifts this particular person has, which matches the microbiome. List things which have been cross validated. In other words, taking the risk out of trying things. You have them nicely done and spelled out. And then you have additional suggestions here. Uh, now, if somebody wants to go off and do the same thing with um, specific variation of autism, it's possible, contact me and we'll tell you what needs to be done. It's going to be a similar thing, but it's going to take a little bit more time. Um, and what it would do is... Um, bah, 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 is it will mean adding a new page here and a new page will instead of have modifying there it will have to list bacteria name bacteria number and the PubMed link and then there'd be another column saying high or low okay so that's basically it it is how you can contribute to getting better suggestions based on your child or your own microbiome and get validated suggestions, suggestions which have been tested in clinical studies or in some cases just lab with autism like behavior so that you reduce the information, so you reduce the risk to your child. Okay, I think I'll shut up now and get this up.